Dear Lisa, we're going to cut your power for 12 hours on Friday. Oh no, I have two PCs with over 100 robots running. This is the end of the world. All my accounts are going to blow. This is terrible. <laughs> it's half an hour before they start shutting off the electricity. I'm going to log on to both my PCs and shut down each MT4 terminal in a controlled way and shut down both my PCs. I'm tracking all my accounts, both demo and live with FX Blue. So I'm going to take a snapshot of all my account balances, the equity to compare before and after the 12 hour blackout. The power is now off. Even though it's perfectly bright outside because it is the daytime, I've found a dark room for dramatic effect. Dun dun dun! 13 hours later, the electricity is back on. I've rebooted my PC, started all my MT4 terminals. Let's look at how much money I've lost. When I was planning this video, I wanted to have a side-by-side -side comparison to check exactly the equity before and after the blackout, but I totally forgot to take this screenshot. It's currently one week after the blackout. So what I do have for you is showing you how the account recovered. Was there any missed trades or any big drawdowns? This is a side-by-side -side comparison of the before picture and the after picture, exactly one week after the blackout. First account started off at about 13 balance and uh, it's up to 15 right now. Second count, um, 10,000 balance with the 8,000 equity, that's jumped up to 11,000 equity. Fourth account, 10,041, up by about $800. Next account, 12,000. The equity is lower because I've got a floating profit and loss, but the balance is up by about 1,008. And next account, number six, went from 846 to uh, by only about $10. So that one has a bigger floating profit and loss. So overall, from a portfolio perspective, we are up. I've got my test PC set up. So I'll run through all the accounts that are running the Profit Retriever, which I believe will recover best during a blackout. So first one, this is running on the NASDAQ 100 and it's gone from 10,000 to a 15,000 over the past um, month or so. I've put a line from the start of the blackout to the end of the blackout. So you can confirm there were no trades taken during the period. A first account, um, looks like there would have been no impact. The um, take profit for this trade here ended above there and this price action during the blackout period did not reach that line at all. So no impact would have had for the first account. Account two running on the US 30 uh, started from $10,000, went up to $800 in the past month. Again, this is the blackout period, start and end of the blackout. This is a buy trade and the price started to go down. So it wouldn't have taken profit or stop loss because it was a fairly quiet time. And um, right after the blackout period, that it would have, that's where it take, took its next trade. So no impact again for this account. Account three, the Euro Aussie. This one went from 10,000 to 14,000 in the past month. During the blackout period, you can see all these historical trades there. So it would have had potentially made a fair bit of profit with $157. It might have made a few hundred dollars profit that was missed during the blackout. It did recover though. Um, I can't tell if it's a buy or sell trade, but here um, it looks like it would have hit profit and continued trading on long nicely. Uh, this is one of the benefits of having the profit retriever. Even though you do have a blackout period, yes, it's okay, it recovered okay and still continuing trading. Um, and um, right now we're in a drawdown because of that massive move. But um, during the blackout period, it was fine. Gold, this one has made about $1,000 profit in the past month. During the blackout period, it was already in about a three trade drawdown. 
if we were trading during that period, this trade which happened here would have been taken sooner and potentially we would have come down. Um, we might have hit uh, profit here, but I doubt it. I don't think that move was big enough to take profit from a four trade um, drawdown. So it did eventually come back and um, hit profit later on. So about 50-50 on this one, whether we would have um, hit profit and entered a new trade or um, if uh, we would be in a different scenario. But overall, it still recovered. Um, we still made a little bit of money afterwards and um, small drawdown currently. Pound US, this one's made about $1,000 profit and it's not much of a drawdown right now. I'll have to zoom in a little bit because can't see what's happening. Okay, so before the blackout, it was in a drawdown with sell trades and the take profit was here. So instead of closing right after the blackout period, we would have taken profit here and entered into a new um, bunch of trades buy or sell, I'm not quite sure. But despite all that, the blackout period, after the blackout period, it still closed nicely and it's still in profit overall and continuing making profits. Um, this is one of the reasons why I chose the Profit Retriever. It is super, okay. <laughs> I can't remember what the other word, but it, is, uh, it handles blackout periods quite well. It's okay. Um, it's not a perfect entry kind of EA. It will recover itself. Um, quite well, uh, whereas but not all other EAs will. Aussie Japanese Yen, I will zoom in a bit. This is up uh, almost $2,000 with a small drawdown. The gap is about 20. So up here with our first trade, we would have entered about there. And yes, we could have gone out with a profit. So first entry there, second entry about there with this spike up, it would have closed both trades with a profit. Um, again, it would have placed another trade at about here and that spike up, whether it was sell or buy, would have resulted in a profit um, because it would have entered another trade and gone up, hit that profit. So there was a little bit of missed profits in the blackout period. Um, but overall it did recover afterwards um, with a bigger than anticipated drawdown. I will mark this one, uh, MT408, uh, for uh, analysis of the um, drawdown period. Overall, uh, the profit retriever did recover uh, and it's continuing to trade well. This blackout period looks like there wouldn't have been any trades because the gap size is fairly large for this one. Um, and uh, yeah, no impact for this account. Looks like there was a buy trade for the Aussie US, uh, which is up just about $1,000 and is currently in overall um, profit. This buy trade here, um, second buy trade was entered here and um, third buy trade was here. So uh, profit for this one might, wouldn't have been hit, it would have hit this um, line of a second um, trade. So first trade entered here, second trade entered here, and potentially it would have come up and hit both, closed both trades with a profit. Again, uh, and then and started a new um, bunch of trades here. So again, a small amount of missed profits during the window where the laptop was off, but the profit retriever recovered and it, I continued to make profits afterwards. This is the one account I wanted to have a closer look at where there was a larger than expected drawdown because of the blackout. So we'll switch to the floating profit view on the 13th, I'm trying to find here, on the 13th, which is about here. Um, so we went from a potentially a $5, sorry, $51 floating profit down to $500 floating profit, which is not that big of a deal in the big scheme of things of a 10,000 account. This drawdown over here is much worse. Overall, it is an acceptable risk um, for the profit retriever it, because it is such a robust and reliable expert advisor. 
the overall profit retrieval portfolio is a positive. We're up by a few thousand dollars from last week when the blackout happened. There was one or two instances where we missed some potential profits because we were down and there was one noticeable account where the drawdown went from about $51 to $500 in drawdown. Full disclaimer, all my live accounts are in a VPS in the cloud, so only my demo accounts were impacted. This was a test to see the recoverability factor of a portfolio of robots, specifically the profit retriever, and to see maybe in the future I don't need a VPS. Perhaps in the future when my live robot portfolio exceeds the capacity of my VPS, I might shut it down and migrate it down to the dungeon. In the next video, you'll see more robot testing based on testing, analysis, and statistics. Bye.